And welcome back to Mimus. Yeah, slight boo-boo on the YouTube upload front. I've not had a lot of luck in the last couple of days. I think the problem is because my hard drive was full. And it was truncating things. And on top of that, I had a bit of a power issue yesterday when I was uploading my last video to YouTube. And it appears to have just quite simply cut off the end of it. Don't know how else to explain. I will do better. I will make certain all of my videos are complete before uploading. I may even hold all of them for publishing until I've had a chance to review them on the YouTube site. So apologies for that. Uh, right. Changes. I think I had mentioned the Steam collection thing, replacing the the funky pipe. The advanced furnace is kind of done. Not 100% convinced I'm going to keep these valves. Even though I have this turbo volume pump where I can manually switch whether the output gas goes to cooling or waste. I still like the idea of being able to control it all from the front. Remains to be seen. Uh, my hot gas is really not hot enough. So I may play around a little with some oxide, um, nitrous oxide fuel. And I have started separating, or not separating, but uh, collecting uh, nitrice and it has separated out into its liquid component I will probably throw on some condensation valves here and a liquid tank although my success at keeping it as a liquid is limited and I don't really want to put nitrogen in there to pressurize it because I want to you know, have a tank of pure Nit uh, nitrous oxide so anyway for, for the moment that's stable it can stay as it is um, I, I'll deal with it at some point but yes I, I would like to increase the the temperature of this gas one way of doing it would be to throw in a, a lot of a lot of fuel and heat it up but I'm already at 38 megapascals, so I really don't want to do that much. Now, as the temperature raises, so will the pressure. Um, so what I'll probably do is create a temporary tank of very hot stuff and put a uh, heat exchanger in just to get that boosted up because there are, uh, there's at least one advanced alloy where this, I think, is not hot enough. Let's have a look. Uh, which one was it? Uh, was it wasp alloy? Nope. Nope, not astraloy. Not that one. Yeah, stellite. So 1527 Celsius minimum. So that one gave me some trouble. I was able to make some. Uh, I did it just by throwing in, I think it was a, a dozen um, oxide and half a dozen volatiles. I, it, it might have been more, I actually don't recall. And I was able to get the furnace hot enough, smelted up some stellite, and exported everything to the waste tank. Um, this is left over from some other thing. Uh, yeah, and I have reworked the uh, the output from the degassing furnace. So I have a sorter back here now, which will sort out the ingots uh, going through the long, long uh, square tube of chutes. I had momentary blockage, couldn't think of what they were called. I was going to call them square pipes. Yeah, so the... Um, the degas doors will drop into this collection bucket and the ingots, if any, get smelted, like usually lead, sometimes gold, uh, will get dropped here. Now, I do have a bunch more 
um, ores to process and I thought it might be fun for you to see this in operation so I do not need this open at least not for the moment um, 400 degrees Kelvin that should be good enough so I'm not going to smelt anything there although my hot box is empty so I will get that filled up Yeah, and that's a little hotter than the furnace, so that's actually a good thing. Right, so I have two backpacks full of stuff. And with the expanded chute network, I can get most of them in in one go. So, drop it in. Now my hope is that it should be cool, cool enough that it won't actually turn anything into ingots. The one thing I don't mind is if lead gets, uh, gets processed that way. Because when you want to make solder, you need the temperatures down. And putting an ingot into a, a warm furnace will actually cool the furnace down without increasing the pressure. Right, and so with those uh, glass shoots, you get to see, not the whole shoot network, but you can see whether there's stuff being processed. Next time I tear this thing down to do anything, I'm actually going to move the furnace one to the right, because it would be kind of nice to have the input shoot, or the last shoot before the furnace, being a glass one. So you could see if there's anything that is actually going to be coming in. And this style of uh, piping is good. It stops the ores from going through, but you can still pull stuff out quite easily. Whereas I think the original style, uh, or not original, but the official railings, I think don't let you do that. You have an issue trying to grab stuff through them. And this one has more slots but I don't have that much now the cobalt will generate volatiles I did actually smelt um, degas some of them using the arc furnace I installed it here and it degasses them instantaneously uh, it'd be kind of fun to see what's going to happen if we degas them in this one. Now I will get my tablet out. Ooh, that's not good. Lots of pipe stress. Okay, let's get that pumping out of there. I guess the turbo volume pump is clearing out the pipe faster than the furnace is releasing it. Well, the liquid pollutants will evaporate fairly quickly. So I don't think there's much problem of pipe stress here. Yeah, it's already gone. But you do have to keep an eye on this. I did make the data connection around the back. I think you can see if we go around the back. Yeah, it's actually a grey pipe. Because it was in a hot box, I made it the heavy cable. Don't really know whether the heavy cable is more heat resistant or not. I seem to remember reading something a long while ago that it was, but... Uh, now, just because you read something on the internet doesn't actually mean that it's true. Apparently. Right. 
So the temperature in the furnace is 145 and the temperature in these pipes is 274. So I could just bring some more pressure in. But as it is, that has degassed everything. Yeah, maybe I should put an active filtration on this to pull out the nitrous and oxygen. But of course, anytime I add silver or gold, it's just going to add more to it. Probably the safest thing to do is have it filter off the volatiles. All right, well, I'm going to stop that. And just for giggles... I'll throw that in. And see what happens. Oh, it already came out. Where were the volatiles? It may be that it wasn't hot enough. All right, let's try that again. This time we'll... Put some in. There we go. And it should have auto ignited, and the temperature is much hotter, and things are burning. Pressure in the hot box is way too high. I don't have any way of evacuating that hot box. And we got a burst pipe. And lots and lots of flames. Okay, right. A failure. So degassing the volatiles in a furnace with oxygen and oxides is really not a good idea. And it's just blown out the window at the front. Oh, no, it didn't. I thought it did. Uh, damage is increasing. So. Whoa! Oh, well, that's one piece of glass that I won't see again. I think I can turn those off. Okay, well, I wanted to move the furnace anyway, so now's as good a uh, good a opportunity as any. Oh, and I, I lost all the shoots. Well, isn't that fun in games? But the pipes, uh, the cable survived. All right, so that needs to get rebuilt, and I need to rethink how I'm going to do the uh, volatiles, or do the uh, the cobalt. It seems a little strange to have a furnace dedicated to it, but to be honest, it may be the better way to go. 
Otherwise, I am saying, okay, anything, any volatiles that I get from uh, cobalt will just get thrown away. And I really don't know if I want to do that. I mean, it's not that much of an issue. There's plenty of volatiles out there to be mined. But, uh, yeah, don't think I like the idea of doing that. And I have to take care of my waste tank. Fortunately, that is, well, that is easy to do. Done. All right, so this is going to have to get rebuilt, that's for sure. Might actually go out and look and see if I can find my missing uh, piece of glass. Right, so yeah, I'll have to uh, pull apart this as well. Well, it looks like I lost lots of shoots. Hmm. Anything up there? Oh, well, that's okay. Okay, so lost a few shoots, a piece of pipe, and a piece of glass. But yeah, if, you, if anyone's got any ideas um, other than using the arc furnace, I mean, the arc furnace is the obvious uh, solution to do that. Just set up a one by one room and extract from it. I, I want to avoid doing that even though it's largely instantaneous i mean bear in mind there's no um i'm not uh trapping it at all but if i let's put a put one in you see you get the volatiles and it's like instantaneous so it's probably not using using much power at all. Yeah, gave myself a backboard so I could do the old Michael Jordan thing. Um, yeah, I mean, using this is the the obvious solution, but I would like to explore an option of using something that requires zero power. And uh, yeah. If you have any thoughts, leave them in the comments. I'll be delighted to read them. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Apologies for the previous video. And I hope you found something of use in this one. And I'll see you in the next one. 54 Bear out.